I'm sad. I'm sad about what happened, that they, we couldn't save them. You know, it was engulfed in flame. Right now at 10, a Linwood neighborhood is in shock after two children died when fire tore through a townhome. I'm Vanessa Bashanya. We've got a live report from that scene. Plus, some of our local firefighters were just about to return home from California when they got called to a new wildfire there. You're watching King 5 News. We begin tonight with news out of Linwood. A fire at a townhome has claimed the lives of two children this afternoon. Investigators are still on scene right now. Our Tony Black is in Linwood and he's been at the scene since this afternoon. Tony, what can you tell us? Yeah, Vanessa, right now the ATF has taken over the investigation at this time. It is a bit unusual, but authorities here on scene tell me that they're utilizing their expertise to try and figure out what led to the death of two young people here this afternoon. We saw like fire coming, like a mess of really huge fire coming out. Sunday afternoon in Linwood marked tragedy as two juveniles died after a fire at the Linwood townhomes just off of 196th Street Southwest and 68th Avenue West. Firefighters were able to um, make a really quick attack when they got here and got the fire knocked down within about 10 minutes so they could get in there and do a search. And that's when they located the victims. Officials say a boy estimated to be 11 years old was also taken to the hospital for smoke injuries. The identities of the juveniles aren't known at this time, but witnesses on scene spoke of the efforts made by others to try and save people. There was a guy, he, was, he had no shirt on, he was barefoot, he didn't care, he was running across the rocks. She says the unknown man helped save the boy who was upstairs. We threw rock he, and broke the window but he ran around and then saved him. And this guy was amazing. Yeah, he was he whoever he was. He I don't no know. Shoes on. He had no shoes on. But he was going to risk his life for this boy. Fire was reported shortly after 2.30 p.m. For hours, several residents and onlookers watched as crews put the fire out and began their investigation. It was terrifying, you know. It was um, hot. It was like ashes everywhere. You couldn't see through the, the smoke. It rose all the way up. All we could think about was those poor children in there. Red Cross was on hand to help people find a place to stay. South County Fire says about 15 people won't be able to stay at home tonight. 196th Street was closed between 64th Avenue and 68th Avenue for several hours as the investigation went on. A cause for the fire is not yet known at this time. You no, know, I'm sad. I'm sad about what happened that they we couldn't save them. You know, it was engulfed in flames. I mean, I, I feel I'm wow, terrified. like so losing it's probably going to haunt me for days, you know, those poor children. Now, right now, 196th Street between 64th and 68th Avenue West is still closed, though the medical examiner did just leave the scene here moments ago, and you can kind of see they're starting to clear this area out. There will still be authorities here on scene throughout the night in the well as well. We're also told that we may get an update more on the status of the investigation. Could come in the morning hours, so do be sure to tune in to King 5 Mornings beginning at 430 for updates there and also through our King 5 mobile app. For now, here in Linwood, I'm Tony Black, King 5 News.